Hey everyone. So, Sean Spicer, press secretary, Trump spokesman and human pinata to the media has been pushed out. The Trump administration is a populist one, though, so the incoming new press secretary is, of course, a regular working class bloke. Hugely wealthy Wall Street financier, Anthony Scaramucci. And he's joining the cabinet or entourage as yet another political outsider. In the sense of the word outside, the earning millions of dollars in bonuses and chartering a private jet are outside the realms of possibility for most voters. In other wealth-related news, though, the BBC was forced to disclose how much all its top presenters have paid and Lo and behold, turns out that for all the talk of feminism and egalitarianism, the blokes at the top of the line share of the dosh. As an example, Derek Thompson, star of Casualty, earns £400,000 a year, compared to his co-host Amanda Mealing, who only earns £300,000 a year, although of course both earn 15 times more than an actual frontline nurse in a real non-BBC hospital. Perhaps a hindsight, though, the new Doctor Who was just cast as a female in order to reduce the show's budget. It was, after all, only when the list came out that the BBC said it'd increase her pay-to-match period capacity. If only the decision had been delayed a few months more, I suppose they could have maybe hired newly released actor O.J. Simpson. He's a progressive ethnic minority actor and needed some work, and he could have employed those same light-hearted comedy stylings used in an NK Gun series of films in order to bring in a, a big US audience, or alternatively just stick him in as Chris Evans' replacement and get him to test drive an SUV very, very slowly up the motorway. After all, that's the other memorable thing in his CV, I suppose. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click on the channel icon to subscribe. See you, bye.